hey guys good morning welcome to another vlog yes you guys this vlog is going to be a collaboration with dn vlogs live tv <laughs> yes auntie shola of dn vlogs live tv i'm sure many of you already know her but if you don't know who she is um, her name is Auntie Shola. She has two beautiful daughters. She lives in the US. Yeah, she has two channels. Her first channel is the one that I really, you know, discovered her from and it's called Discovering Natural. Then her vlog channel, her family channel is DM Vlog. So you guys should just go and check her out. She has amazing content, especially for, you know, growing YouTubers as well. She has very helpful tips and, you know, stuff like that. And if you just want to see the life of a beautiful family living in the US, uh, you guys should just go and check her out, okay? I'll leave her link in the description box so that you guys can, you know, subscribe to her channel, watch her videos. Like I said, she has really nice content, okay? So, to be honest, I'm tired. I just want to lie down and sleep. I'm really not in the mood for anything today, but I have to just pick myself up because my husband is not around. Yeah, I remember in my last video with him, I remember saying that um, out of the both of us, I'm the lazy one. The truth is yes, I'm the lazy one out of the both of us. But anytime he's not around, I cannot afford to be lazy. I have to pick myself up because I don't have any other person to do the things I'm supposed to do for me, okay? So this is me picking myself up. I think vlogging is just going to be a way of consoling myself. Like, let me just take that, okay, actually I'm vlogging, I'm working for my YouTube channel. That's the only reason why I even managed to dress up. You can see I'm wearing a cap because I can't even be bothered with looking anyhow okay or looking good or whatever yeah so so yeah the reality of things is that when you don't have a choice you are going to step up that's why i don't you know look at people and say ah why is this woman lazy she's not doing anything she's not this she's not that what if her husband is not there what if <laughs> the truth is if the husband is not there she will step up and she will do the job fantastically well okay <laughs> women are actually stronger than we think okay so give women some credit <laughs> so all of it i'll be doing uh, our motivational speaker i'll be talking uh, this one this one the reason why they have the luxury of lounging of relaxing and being taken care of is because they have someone who they can who can take care of them if the person is not there majority of women will stand up and take responsibility and be thriving okay so yeah anyway I don't know why I just said all those things I just said now. Maybe I'm still consoling myself, but whatever. So yeah, I need to go to the post office. I don't even know. See how I'm sweating. People will be calling this one glow. This is not glow. This is sweat. This is oil. <laughs> this is oil. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so I'm supposed to go to the post office to go and pick up an item. Just one item. I'll drive all the way to the post office. And this item, what is annoying me about this one is that when my husband was around, my husband had gone to their office that morning. So while my husband was still around there, they called me for the to come and pick up my item. I asked the guy, is it the same item? Because my husband is actually close. He just left your office right now. They said, yes, it's the same item. I said, okay, no, wahala. Only for the guy to call me on Friday, I'm telling me, ah, ah, where are you now? Your item is still here. I was just like, <sighs> So anyway, I need to go and pick up my item from the post office. I need to get fruits. I need to get vegetables because that's what I want to be eating now. I've got past the phase where... Um, I had an aversion to all those things. So now I want to just try and get back to eating them as much as I can. And uh, what else? What else? I'm expecting stuff. My children are crying. So I'm also expecting stuff that I ordered from a UK personal shopper. Um, you guys must have heard about her if you watch Nello's vlog and Chantel Anyao's vlog. Her name is Ada. No of her, her business is Shopper Helper. So I'm expecting stuff I ordered from her today. So... I'll actually either go and pick it up or they'll deliver it. I don't know what's happening, but yeah. Uh, so I'm just going to carry you guys along. You guys should keep me company while I go about my chores. But like I said, my body is standing, but my spirit is sleeping and relaxing and watching TV and eating. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. Yeah, so let's go, Jerry. Yes. 
Yes, I guess it's true, the way. Ava, hmm? are you wearing your Crocs? Uh -huh. Why don't you wear your blue shoe? You don't want to wear your blue shoe. Uh-oh. Why? I want this one. You want this one? Uh-huh. But the blue shoe is fine. No. This one. I want this one. Why don't you want the blue one? We buy another one blue one. Yes? It's too big, it's too... I will, I will it's mask. too little small. Shield, mask, all those things. Eva, Cora, where are we going to? The post office. Yeah? What happens at the post office? Um, uh, I don't know. Daddy... Uh, uh, Daddy went there. Hmm? Uh, Daddy went there. What did Daddy yeah. go and do? Okay, he went there with you, with both of you. Yes. What did he go and do? He just... He just bring something for you. Yes, he collected something for me. Eva? 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 Uh -huh. What? What goes on in the post office? Goes in the post office. Daddy goes to the post office. Yes, what did daddy do in the post office? He get your bucket. <laughs> Bucket! Uh -huh. Bucket, that's what the daddy did. Rosen, I left my own is. What's that, aunt? I need to kill it. Mm -hmm. If I kill it, I don't be scared. One. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's cute, I can see the ant killed. What's more? Don't look for more, let's go. Are you an ant killer? Mm -hmm. So, guys, we are currently. At um, there's this a bakery near my house, not near my house, but the bakery along the road. And yeah, these children are just eating cake because Eva has been disturbing me since that she's hungry, she's hungry. I don't like taking them out without giving them food, but I didn't check time before we left the house, so I had to stop and buy cake for them. I hope you're enjoying your cake, yes. Yeah, so rain has been falling endlessly in Portaco. That's part of the reason why I don't even have motivation to leave my house because I hate rain touching me. I like rain falling, you know. I like rain falling. Just that I want to be indoors while the rain is falling. But if I have to go out and rain will touch my body, it annoys me. So, yeah, that's why I really don't like going now. But yeah, I've gone to the post office. I've collected the things I needed to, needed to collect. This thing is actually for my husband. Though. He has a project that he's working on seriously for the house. So when he's done, I'll show you guys and tell you guys about it. But... He's working on a project for the house so a lot of the parts that he bought they're coming in bits so they'll come in today come and collect one tomorrow come and collect another one they are mostly electrical and electronic okay, electrical parts so much is back so let me go see you guys at home hi guys hi <laughs> yes do you know what it is no in my it's your present. Do you know what is inside? It's both of us present. We get to see it. What's uh, inside? Uh, uh, Cora, help Eva to carry it up. Let's see, like, okay. carry far. I carry it to the chair. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. Cora is strong, girl. I didn't know she was able to carry it. So, guys, my package is finally here from. Mommy, let open it. Yes, we'll open it. Okay. It's not a post office, it's from God is Good. From the personal <laughs> shopper I told you guys about. Her name is Shopper Helper on Instagram. You guys should go and check her out. And yeah, so but why is it here looking like it's open? Yeah. I hope nobody has popped anything from inside though. People should go away. Oh my this packaging is a lot. It's a lot. I don't have patience for things like this. It's that. different things. It's different things. Yes. Maybe yeah, I should not mind me. I'm wearing my pajama trousers. I've had my bath, but nothing's entering me again. So. Yeah, the pajamas. Yes, that's why I'm wearing my pajama trousers. <laughs> okay, let's see whose own is this. This looks like it's for Cora. <laughs> Wait, let's look for another one. 
This looks like it's for Cora. <laughs> if I hold on, okay? And this is for Cora. <laughs> If I like dresses, so I'm sure that she's like, where's my own? And this one is for? For me. Yes. Hold it now. You like it? Uh -huh. <laughs> it looks big. Oh, remember this thing? Yeah, in my side. Yes, see another one. For Ava. Mommy, I want to wear it. You want to wear it? Uh -huh. And this is for? No, it's for you. Yay. <laughs> Are you happy? Mm -hmm. Yeah, push again, keep it here. And this one is for Amarachi. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And this is for Ava. And this is for me. Yes, I don't know if it's your size. Me, I like it. This is for Daddy. not crazy it's beautiful <laughs> and this is for daddy <laughs> yeah. this uh, for daddy uh, look at Carol. Where these biscuits come from and I this is you. for daddy mm. i'm even looking at it too much like this one should be for me i bet <laughs> 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 so yes yeah, this is for me <laughs> yeah, yeah so now i'm going to change this my uh what is the name what is this name pyjama trousers i needed it i needed to buy leggings this yeah this is for amarachi oh, mm, thank yeah. you and this is for this is for you now i think this is your father no this is your own thank you thank you that's my just my waka waka bag <laughs> <laughs> I, needed, I needed bag for market and this is for Amarachi. Oh. This is for yeah. this. No, it's for Amarachi. Wow. Yes. yes. And yes. this is for Amarachi. Oh. And this was the size here. This is my own. So this wow. one is for Ava. You're so happy. Okay, so this one is for Ava. Yay! And this one is for I bought size 9 to 10. Let me see how it's not enter your bumbo. <laughs> I said this one must enter your yes, this this is your size, right? Yes. Yes. I said this one, I'm not going to play that play again be buying 5 to 6, 7 to 8. I said I'll buy size okay, 10. Look at this one. This one is seven to eight. I hope it will enter how. Oh my god. Will this enter Cora? It's enter. It's enter. It's enter. It's the last one. So this is for you. Cora, wait. Yeah, these are your pajamas. <laughs> so this is your own. And this is your own. Your pajamas. And these are dresses. And this is for this one, Eva. I know you love dresses, so I decided to buy dresses for you. Eva, see? <laughs> your dress! Uh, uh, this is your dress. You like it? Mm -hmm. And pants. Mm -hmm. Yes, I bought pants. This pants is for Eva. And this pants is for Amarachi. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this pants is for Cora. And this one is for mommy. <laughs> <laughs> and this is for Kara. It's long ago. <laughs> I bought nine to ten. Then this is for Kara. <laughs> My beautiful dress, I like it. And this is for it has look like Ava. Looks like beach ball. Yeah, so these are my auntie's shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so better looking. Yeah, better looking. <laughs> yes, and these are your shoes as well. <laughs> what else is remaining? And this is for Cora. 
and that is all. Yeah. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. Because let me test this shoe first. Let me know that I'm supposed to cry or not. Yes, it's my size. Finally, I've gotten my size without going to to, yes, to men shop. To go and buy man shoe. Yeah. <laughs> hmm? Finally, God has blessed me. <laughs> Nora is just how old are you? Four. Four. And she's wearing trousers of nine to ten. Yeah, the only issue that we usually have is that they're usually too long, but the thighs and the bum area usually fits very well. Turn your back. So if any of you have kids who are like Cora, who wear way, way, way bigger clothes, how do you guys manage it? Do you have to cut all their trousers? Normally, that's why I don't like buying trousers for Cora because I've had a lot of bad experiences. When I buy um, six to seven, seven to eight, eight to nine, they usually do not size her. So I, I started buying nine to ten. But the problem is that it's too long. So is that how you guys do it? Do you guys buy and then cut? Because I'm going to, I'm definitely going to cut this one. And so that's why basically Cora wears shorts most of the time. If you notice, she's always wearing shorts or gowns because trousers are an issue. So <laughs> I'm just praying that shoes do not become an issue for her because me shoes have always been an issue for me all my life. So if it's just trousers like her own, then it's fine. But shoes is the one I don't want anybody's leg to be too big. Hi guys, good morning. I just finished having my bath. I wanted to come and chat with you guys a bit. I want to go to Nello's house with you guys. I want to carry my kids to Nello's house, but I need to go and wash their hair. They are currently in their room waiting for me. <laughs> but I'm tired. How are you guys? This pregnancy is not easy. That reminds me, I want to do a video on, you know, circumstances surrounding this pregnancy. How I found out, you know. Just basically like, you know, telling you guys the real story behind it. Because the last video where I talked about my pregnancy, that's where I reviewed my pregnancy, I didn't really give much out. So I want to do a video talking about how I found out, what happened, what thing happened here. Yeah. But I also want to know, do I do it as a Q&A so you guys can just ask me your questions and I answer them at once? Or should I tell the story from my own perspective without anybody's questions and then maybe later on, if you guys have questions, I'll answer your questions separately. Or I don't know, I don't know. See, to be honest, I know that my vid my channel is about motherhood, this and that. But for some reason, the motherhood part is now hard for me. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Sharing about this pregnancy, sometimes I even forget that I'm pregnant. So sharing about this pregnancy is not coming to me as naturally as I thought that it was going to come to me. Okay, I thought I was going to be one of those people that would just get pregnant and start sharing videos, uh, uh, pregnancy morning routine, what I eat in the day, uh, are pregnant, uh, pregnancy night routine, pregnancy skincare routine, pregnancy going out routine, pregnancy <laughs> sleeping routine. <laughs> <laughs> what to buy for baby, what to do for as I thought I was going to be one of those people, but to be honest, like I, I, I don't have the zeal or energy for that. Maybe because mentally I'm still not even prepared for this baby. You guys, anyway, I'll talk about all these things in my next video because man, to be honest, I am not prepared for this baby at all. I'm just I know this baby is from God, so I'm just like God, now you give me this picking, now you go take care of everything. Finally, I think the distractions are coming from me having other kids to take care of. And also the fact that I had mentally decided not to have kids again. So this is almost like it's too brand new for me and I wasn't expecting it. So yeah, and um, yeah, that's it. But I'm going to discuss more about it in my next video. So you guys should stay tuned for that. And yeah, I think I'm just going to end this vlog here. I don't even know how this vlog looks, but uh, to be honest, I really don't care anymore. Like it's a vlog, it's a vlog. <laughs> Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>